to a new video. I've got a friend this time. Hi. This is Femke and this is my podcast co-host. So, if you listen to Design Life, which is our show, you will have heard her voice before, but yes. maybe not seen her face. No, this is what my face looks like. Last year, we filmed a video about Podcasting 101, I think it was, yes. right? Where we answered lots of questions about podcasting. Um, today, though, we decided to film a video talking about doing a side project with a friend because normally with side projects you're doing them on your own mm -hmm. so there's not really anyone else to think about it can just be your own personal project but when you do one with someone else there is more things to consider changes there? the game a little bit yeah it? it does a bit different so do you want to talk about how we started our podcast which is our side project together Yes, and if you haven't checked out our podcast, plug, plug, plug. you should <laughs> go to designlife.fm and you'll see our lovely faces yep. and our episodes. And we've been podcasting for almost a year and a half, I think. Yeah, now. I think you're right. And we started it because, I don't know, I guess we both had these, we're having these conversations mm -hmm. together about design and freelancing and side projects and stuff. And we, I think we both had the same urge where we wanted to teach and help others yeah and we realized that there was a lot of value in the discussions that we were having and so thought why not turn it into a podcast yeah we both listen to a lot of podcasts as well and that too yeah yes. so what made you want to do a podcast like with me or with someone else rather than just doing one yourself though well I don't know if I would be able to do one by myself and just be able to talk to myself. I also like how we can share different perspectives and different yeah. views on things and sometimes, most of the time we agree but sometimes we also disagree which I think keeps it really interesting and so you kind of get to hear two different perspectives. I wouldn't be able to have a podcast if you weren't doing the editing of it. There just wouldn't be time, you know? Yeah. So that's how, I guess that is a thing to talk about. We split up the duties which is definitely a pro to having a buddy in your side project. Yes. Yeah. Splitting responsibilities and if you are thinking of starting a side project with someone I would recommend having that discussion up front before mm -hmm. you get started and figuring out who's going to be responsible for the different tasks yep. because it's going to be harder to figure out later on and you're going to be like oh well I thought you would do that and you know you kind of make assumptions about who's going to do what so clear that up early yeah, on. Yeah definitely. We learned as well from, it was from listening to the Sean Boys podcast, I think, yes. right? He talked about how when you're in a partnership with someone, it shouldn't be 50-50. That you should always have one person who's 51% and the other 49, so that mm -hmm. there is that controlling stake to be the decision maker, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So in our partnership, Femme is the 51%. And so we made sure before we started who was going to do what. And mm. so, you know, you were very honest and very upfront at the start about saying that you couldn't commit the time yeah. to editing and so I took on the responsibility of editing the show. And you had to learn to edit as well. I did, yeah. which was a challenge. Yeah, but, but one, oh shit. <laughs> T. <laughs> I was going to put that down. Are we going to questions? Questions? Yeah. We have questions. We have questions. Thank you to those of you who asked a question. We will now answer it. <laughs> I don't um, know how to do YouTube. <laughs> Randy has asked how we assign responsibility and hold each other accountable to deadlines, which I think is an interesting question. Mm. So we talked about assigning responsibility, we sort of decide within ourselves. Um, we just had a meeting actually this morning about a new project that's coming up, which yes. is very exciting. Very Maybe, I think we've got a question that might be relevant to talk about that later, but anyway, um, within that it meant deciding on responsibilities and who's going to do what. We pretty much just split it up fairly evenly, right? Like. Yeah. whatever made sense for us each to do. I feel like the workload is pretty even and mm. if one of us can't commit because of some reason, like maybe we're super busy that week or have something on that kind of unfortunately gets in mm. the way, then we're very honest and upfront with yep. each other and uh, I feel like, you know, we're always helping each other like, oh that's fine. There's a lot of give and take, yep. I think. And yeah. being flexible as well. Mm -hmm. But I like the accountability side because I know that every Wednesday morning we've got podcast recording time yeah. in the diary and so I can't schedule anything else in there because Femme's yeah. going to be there waiting on Skype for me yeah so, and yeah likewise too. <laughs> yeah so we always show up at the same time every mm -hmm. week and uh, yeah that helps us keep accountable I think yep. that's that's all you need is just something in the calendar and then you know that you're going to show up every week because you don't want to disappoint the other person yeah so set a schedule I guess would be advice for working yeah with someone else Okay, this is an interesting question. What happens when we disagree on something? A couple of people have asked about, you know, what to do when perhaps the partnership isn't working out or, I don't know, the side project isn't working out. I don't know. I guess sometimes there's been times where we've each made a topic suggestion and mm -hmm. the other one maybe hasn't been as interested in mm -hmm. it or hasn't wanted to do it as much. 
And so I guess we kind of just let it sit there for a little while longer yeah. before we decide to. And it's sort of up it. to if one of us wants to suggest a topic, it's up to us to convince each other, right? Why it's yeah. the good one. So like we can talk about this, this, and this, and then generally we'll be like, yep, cool. Yeah. You have to have a lot of trust within each other. Mm -hmm. You have to know each other quite well and be accommodating towards the other person. So yeah, you kind of have to have a bit of a founding uh, friendship or relationship yeah. there, I think. I think too, it's important to pick to do a side project with someone who has the same mindset as you. Yes. Like both of us are super committed and we know that once we start this thing, we're not going to lose interest, you know, two weeks later or whatever. No. We knew going into that we were both going to be committed to this yeah. thing and wanting to make it something big, um, you know, as big as we can. Yes. Um, and having goals too. You yeah. have to have the same goals. If you don't outline goals with each other before you start, I think that can cause a little bit of, you know, especially, if someone has a different goal. Yeah, especially if it's a, that someone wants to just have fun and the other person wants to like take it seriously, seriously and make it like a proper thing. Yeah. I mean, you're That's both not going to be frustrated. Yeah, it's not yeah. going to work. So you have to establish that upfront before you get started, and make sure you have the same goals and the same mindset going in, because yeah. otherwise it's going to get a bit tense. One last question from Michael says, "What has been the biggest surprise you've had running your our side project together, and what are our future plans for it?" So, first of all, any surprises or like I don't know things that surprised you about working with someone else? Uh, just how much fun it is I guess there's play and work you know yeah. like it is something serious that we show up and we commit to but it, we also find it really fun and I don't think I realized how much fun I would have doing it that was kind yeah. of a nice surprise I suppose yeah I agree and I also really like um, having someone else who is taking care of this thing as well because for all of my other side projects mm. if I didn't do anything they wouldn't get done whereas with the yeah. podcast like you know, when we needed to do our website, you took care of that. And yeah. like, you know, if something needs to happen, we decide between us who's going to make it happen. And we yeah. can split the duties. Yeah. Um, it just makes everything so much easier. And I think more fun to work on because I'm not having to think about every single aspect. Right. You know? And it's nice to be yeah. able to bounce ideas with someone else as yeah, well. Definitely. It's handy. Yeah. Future plans. Let's end talking about this because we've got a pretty exciting future plan for Design Life. We do. Um, we're going to launch a community which should be awesome. It's going yeah. to be a place where people can join who are interested in design or, you know, creativity in general and mm -hmm. people who have side projects, motivated creatives, as we say our podcast is for. Yes. We want to gather everyone together and have this, like, chat room where we're going to run it on Slack to start with. Mm -hmm. um, so there'll be a bunch of different rooms where you can talk about freelancing, about design, get advice on your work, talk about the podcast in there as well, mm -hmm. and we're planning on offering resources and things to the community. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Anything else you think we should say I about it? am just very excited about yeah. it. I think it's going to be a great place to come and have discussions with yeah. like-minded creative people. If you're looking for help or advice or someone's another different opinion, yeah. I think that it'll be a really great safe space to come to. If you want to join the community, yes. then you can go to our Twitter page. Uh, we are at Design Life FM on Twitter and our pinned tweet will have instructions about yes the or i'll put a link in the description oh yeah that's a thing yeah. that's a thing on youtube <laughs> <laughs> well i think that this video has been long enough but if there's any more questions you have about doing a side project with a friend then feel free to leave them down below in the comments you can pop in and answer some too maybe yes get used to using youtube i yeah. will learn how to do that <laughs> yep do make sure you check out our podcast as well it is designlife.fm we've got loads of episodes about design freelancing Creativity in general. Yeah. Also, if you've been thinking about starting a side project with a friend and you've got a friend who is on the same wavelength as you and is interested in the same idea, I would definitely say to go for it. Would you agree? I would say go for it, yeah. yeah. Make sure you're on the same page and that you set goals and take it seriously and I think it could turn out awesome. Yeah. Lots of possibility. Yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Toodaloo! Bye! <laughs>